Hello, good evening. My name is Kain Son Munonye, the application developer. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Dreamweaver to MySQL database. And you are able to, to pull data from MySQL and display on the Dreamweaver page. In subsequent video, I'm going to teach you how to insert into a uh, into the database uh, using Dreamweaver and also how to update as well as delete a record from the database using Dreamweaver. So without further delay, let's start. Just uh, to show you the database we are working on in MySQL, just to see the database we are going to connect to. Remember the name of the database is DemoDB, so the name of the table is Student. Okay, so you can see the data. So we have to go to Dreamweaver and then display this data. So I go ahead to open Dreamweaver. I use Dreamweaver CS6. For us to complete this demo, we first of all have to create a website and then create the connection and then display the data so we create a site new site i want to call it uh, tutorial site or let's just call it tutorial and i need to choose a local folder i already have a, a folder i call local sites that contain all my sites so I create a folder for this particular website. I call it tutorial site. Okay, that's fine. Okay, select. Okay, but in this in the in the site we need to also define a testing server, a remote server that we are going to use to do the testing. So it's more or less like where we upload our site. So kind of in a server where we have to upload our site for testing. So what we do now, this is the site we are working on. I named the tutorial and I did. I go to servers and I add. So this uh, dialog box here is very important. I give the server name to be tutorial server. Okay, connect using local network. And the server folder is also important. It has to be a folder right inside your testing server folder. And it must be inside your drive. See, inetpop, www. It must be inside this folder. If not, it's not going to work. So I create a folder for this particular website. I call it training sites training sites that is the name okay training site and then web url will be something like local host because the server is a local server that is the local system and then training site okay i think we are good to go save this is my remote uh, server and it's also my testing server so i save everything and now the cache has to be recreated i say okay and done okay so the first thing i have to do is to create a page each time i create a page the first i create a site the first page i create i like to name it index.html of course you always have to name the first page index or the extension might be uh, .html.php .cfm for cold fusion and so on but for now let's just name it index.html so save index already a to default to the extension.html so save okay so we have the site we have this page here i just want to give it a, a a title to be something like a, a 
nights. Okay, well, welcome to my site. Okay, so this page will be a list of students enrolled for the workshop by Kaiton, that's me. Okay, it's just uh, not important, but this is just uh, let's create a caption there. So now we need to display this table here on this web page. And before I do that, I have to create a connection to my database. Now pay attention to how we create a connection between Dreamweaver and MySQL. You have to make sure that the database from Windows, you have to make sure that the database panel is open. So this is the database panel. Let's uh, try to remove this. Uh, okay. Sorry. Close this. Okay. This is the database panel. And we need to create a connection to the database. We need to first create a site and that we have done. We need to choose a document type. That is a nice type. So the document type here has to be PHP. Of course, there are other document types that can be used, but for us here, the application uh, server we are working with is PHP. And then our document type has to be PHP. Already we've set up the site testing server as I showed you before now. And so we create our connection. Uh, you need to fill up this connection name. You choose any name you feel like. CN as con site. Okay, con site. Uh, just leave it. Okay, con training. Okay. The server local host. You need to fill this correctly. This username is a username you set up when you are configuring your MySQL database. In a different video, you can uh, go through my explanation on how to configure, install and configure MySQL database. So the username I use here is root, same password. Now the database is a demo DB. Sometimes you may have to click on select, but often case you, you may just have to type the name of the database. For me, I prefer uh, typing in the name of the database and we are good to go. So, okay. So you can see the connection here, con training. The next thing we have to do now is to create a record site. A record site is a collection of data from the database and to do that, you simply come to server behavior, server behavior, and you create, click on record site, you create one. You can give it a name. The default name there is record set one, but you can give it your name you choose, rec training. I call it rec training, con training for connection, rec training for record site. Okay, so. Uh, the table is student. Of course, there is just one table in the database. Uh, if not, if there are more than one, it will be listed here in the in the in the tables drop down. And so filter none, sort none for now. And we want to say okay. So we see the record site created here. So the next thing we want to do is to insert a table. And to do that, you simply go to insert in the menu bar, go to uh, data objects and choose dynamic data and dynamic table. <coughs> it, it asks for a record site and the, uh, we just have just one record site in this uh, demo. And so we choose it and say, okay, bingo is as simple as this. So now I would just like to centralize this table, centralize and just uh, maybe 
embolden this to show that it's my heading and maybe capitalize the first items just to make sure or to show that is the heading after now we test it and we see that the data displays beautifully in our web page marking the completion of this demo and so file we want to save everything okay so you can see now it has created a file with extension.php because each time you want to assess a dynamic data from the database the page has to be a dynamic page and it, for it to be a dynamic page it has to have the extension of php so save and then let's preview this thing now i want to use chrome to preview yes update yes yes uh, yeah so we can see our data here beautifully displayed on our page later on we think of how to enhance this page to make it look a bit professional we also discuss how to display or sorry how to add delete to be able to delete a record from from the list so this marks the end of our demo and i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing